lame top tiers. The Steve, the game watches the Rob. They don't play those. They play the, ooh, the cool, the flash. We kind of lame. Right? I love. I this. don't think they're lame, but the, the other people do. Get, apart from Game Watch, but that's another story. We're gonna tell the tale of how you know Leviathan uh, fought against Alfredo. <laughs> Mr. Freddy Fazbear himself. <laughs> Oh, Burst? Oh, this is Burst? I know about Burst. I've heard oh, of Burst. Oh, that is Burst! Burst, I'm gonna punch you in the face! <laughs> okay, we have Burst changes attack all the time for all the other don't know. But anyway, we have Burst, we have Leviathan coming up on deck. I was about to say, who's Alfredo in top A? <laughs> Doing something right, I'll tell you that. Uh, and with Sephiroth as well, may I actually add. Uh, sometimes a, a little bit of a mixed up character. People like him, people don't like him. And not because he's like broken or anything, it's just is he people think he's super strong or mm -hmm. he's just kind of dog. <laughs> At the moment, get walked like a dog. You know, Leviathan <laughs> doing a great job understanding where Burst or Alfredo already wants to be. Either one of them, uh, but still can't really handle uh, where Leviathan wants to be. A lot of times, he says, you know, they're not really exactly seen as a top tier, like I was saying before. But where they are top tier at is movement, D disadvantage as well. When they're in a bad spot, they can just choose when to set the pace of the game. And right now, they want to be in the winner side. I'm shocked that they didn't actually kill quite yet. Uh, uh, um, uh, Sephiroth being a little bit of a lighter character, but thankfully the second coming. A little bit. A little bit. Bro, they're lighter than Isabel. He's a little light. He's a little light. He's he's a little, he's a skinny that queen. That tall evil ass man is lighter than Isabel. That's he's a he's a skinny queen. <laughs> Leave my off my goat. But oh uh, man, my goat in question burst is down a whole stock in the ZSS of Ivan is cooking. Ah. Oh, the wing is out. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, you roll in. You can't tech in or roll in against the SS. That's the classic. They've been doing that for a long ass time. Yeah, for sure. And Leviathan still has all three stocks. Unfortunately, we we know what Burst can do. I mean, we're in top eight for a reason, guys, out of like, what, what 100 people? Yeah. Something like that. Sephiroth in this matchup is just, uh, it's, it, he's susceptible to a lot of these, not even just Sephiroth, but Burst is susceptible to a lot of these setups, like the like the stun, for example, off of the tech roll in. Things like that make your life a lot harder against someone like ZSS, who shouldn't be too much of a problem for most of the cast. Just like that, that quick little back here is enough to just get her out of here, please. Get her out of here, coach. Yeah, trying to do something as well. At the moment, Seth is getting, it doesn't matter what game that guy's in, he just gets bullied by Blondies. Either way, he's gonna try to maybe roll in another mine, just gets them there on the ledge as well, trying to get another one burst. Doing a good job of fighting back, but again, uh, Leviathan is so good in disadvantage. Shape. Whenever he's getting hit, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna decide to not get hit. I can just float away or down be away, whatever. Uh, and it's up on burst to kind of understand can they, you know, fight around the ability that ZSS has. Uh oh, uh oh, trying to stuff out with these back airs. And honestly, that big old sword is there for a reason. Nice utilization of the up throw. Unfortunately, the beautiful up air not gonna connect either. So it means Leviathan gets to live a, little lot, a whole lot longer. The wing is still out. We have an extra jump. We have faster movement. We have all this jazz and the kitchen sink, but is it gonna be enough for Burst to actually maintain uh, some sort of, you know, life in this game? Um, I'm sorry, maybe it is. We're gonna be sending ZSS back off stage and honestly maintaining a, ooh, try to maintain an edge guard, but completely gets uh, zared out by, guess what, the zare. The whip right there, right there. That's the most, you've got the sweet spot side B uh, to kind of take that stock, you know, such a potent move, especially the tipper part of it. Uh, and really good spacing on the Leviathan side, understanding, you know, where Seth wants to be, because again, with all that range that Seth possesses, he never wants to be near. He, you know, he likes nope. to be. I like to call him the Princess of Smash. You know what I mean? He doesn't like to be anywhere near. He does yep. dirty work. He likes his uh, sword to do the, the problem. I mean, because if he is close, he gets beat up and sent out the damn stage. You know what I mean? He's a little princess in Smash. He's a little. He's a little girl. He's, he's like, little, oh my you know, god, he's a little kid. Little man. He just. He just like me for real. And at oh the my moment, gosh. you know, Vastin showing off the queen at the moment uh, in this matchup. Just damn, you know. But else can't really get a clean hit. ZSS is just too fast, she's too nimble, and she has no hurt box. So you can't no, even touch the woman, right? Her, her, look at her, she's a pencil. She is not getting hit. Sephiroth a little bit thicker than she is, but not by salt a whole lot. We're gonna be over. We're gonna be going over town and city. Very, very, uh, it, it, very uh, interesting pick as well. But I feel like with the cycling through, with the extra blast on space, it helps burst a little bit all, uh, from getting knocked off the top that he was earlier. Oh, okay. Swing and a miss with that other way of the grab. So, you know, Burst is going to find the grab. Not, there's nothing too much off it, though. Uh, you know, Seth's not really known for the too much of throw combos. Either way, he can get some certain damage. He can get, maybe get some uh, stage control, but no, I not oh, letting wow. that happen at all. I'll try and go for the stun and also try and go for the auto slash on these ledge, but not going to get anything off of that. Nice, nice tech roll out instead of in to not get stunned out by the stun gun. Is it going to be enough, however? And oh, beautiful up air. Although we may have bigger uh, blast zones on TNC, I mean, that's not going to save you. You get hit point blank with a beautiful upper like that. 
yeah, you might be good, obviously, like I said before, many times, you know, Leviathan is good when he's getting hit, but at the same time, if you're flying against the ledge against Sephiroth with one wing, he's got an extra jump and, you know, he's faster. You don't really want to be dealing with that. First, finally in the, in the uh, lead here, trying to go for that auto slash again, and I love that Leviathan is able to realize, hey, you're trying to do this, I'm just going to not, uh, you know, interact and not get any more percentage on me because I need to take care of your stock like yesterday. I want to make sure I get this uh, easy 3-0 and move throughout bracket. I mean, of course, right? But trying to get the us match, not going to be able to get anything started, nor is the Zer. Now we have no platform, so it really should spell better uh, victory for ZSS. I'm really loving the way that Burst uses Sephiroth in, uh, in one wing. The difference between when he doesn't have it and when he does have it is actually quite uh, interesting. You know, when he does have it, again, very, very, you know what? I'm going to keep bullying you with my speed with not. When I don't have the wing, it's back to Princess Treatment only. Don't want to be near you. All right, all right. We're seeing a little bit of a uh, more invigorated burst here. Oh, invigorated into the blast zone. You are absolutely Leviathan. Fine, bringing it back, but... Can we get this, defi this deficit back more uh, to a more even game plan? The dare just from the air. You love to see such amazing burst options coming in from, of course, Burst himself. Oh, we're going for the for the, the Z drop. We're going for a lot of things. Not the Z drop. I'm sorry. Ooh, we're going for a dive why? kick I don't know the into name the Mega Player. Never, yeah. Okay. It's called Mega, mega Player. Player. I was gonna call it Blue Flare. I'm probably gonna lit myself up on Twitter. I don't know how it's called. It's okay. It's a that's Pokemon move. It's close enough. You know what? Fair enough. Oh, actually, now that he did the snap, I actually haven't seen many usage of the uh, Shadow Flare, right? Of the Shadow Flare, yeah. I know that name. Okay, hanging at ledge, but again, Leviathan doesn't really feel too pressured right now. He can kind of just, you know, swing and a miss away from where Burst wants to be. There's the Nair, no conversion with the back air, but again, nice spacing again. Back to Princess Treatment, I'm telling you. When he doesn't have one wing, he's like, you know what? I don't want anyone near you. I just want to keep you away from me. Yeah, please do not touch me within eight feet of my sword, right. and that's exactly what he did with that up air. Just kind of making Leviathan's life a lot harder. Because, oh, big jab block, but we did not if, uh, we did not follow through fast enough with that stun. It would have been monumental, generational even, but Burst is living uh, another lease on life uh, into the second game, and then we actually follow through, and we get the uh, the poke there, and that's exactly what we needed to secure another game for ourselves. One to one so far. And the one wing was the difference there. That triple jump actually allowed him to keep pressuring with the forward. I'm telling you, when he has the one wing, it's like, you know what? I don't care about spacing. I don't even know what that word means in Spanish or English. I'm going to keep just going guns blazing. going to keep poking my sword at you. But when he doesn't have one wing, it's like, you know what? The crown's back on my head. I'm going to keep back to the center stage. You can stay the hell away from me, though. No, please. Back back up. Please, guards, Six feet for him. a reason. Please. Please, guard. Yeah, guards, get him. Get this blonde person away from me. We we do not have a good track record, blonde. As you said, as you said, mentioned earlier. I'm telling you. We don't have a good. We don't have a good a good record. So we're going back to PS2 instead. The best bodyguard in the building seems to be Masamune. Seth doing a really good job keeping him out, and now we're seeing Seth's actual arch nemesis Cloud in the building. Oh, now I was playing Final Fantasy VII. What's going on here? Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize I had no a, 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 a game. Didn't play it. I had no spoilers for you. No, <laughs> Final Fantasy game of my life, guys. I don't know what the hell be going on. Either way, we're gonna see what it goes on in this set, in this game so far. Game three, the, the cloud is out. I'm telling you, Leviathan plays so many different characters at a very good level too. The cloud is not a bogey pick. He knows what he's doing. Hopefully. I think he's more known for his cloud as well. So seeing the cloud on here is really, really a refreshing to see, especially at this high level, especially in losers final. I'm not losers final, but losers top eight, where he wants to go on throughout bracket and get to top four, right? So. Burst kind of has work cut out for him. You 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 uh, you may have manifested a loss in other games, but here we are playing for our lives. This extra space of PS2 gives us mixed Sephiroth a little bit more of a you know that keep away game to actually become more apparent. But man, Cloud's all burst. Cloud is all you know burst damage, all that uh, that cross slash the limit as well is a big factor in a lot of excursions. It's really up to Burst to what can we do here? What can we adapt to? Okay, so we are seeing the one wing, but we're also seeing limit as well. Uh, Cloud is going to get those speed buffs until now. It is you know, timer in this game, so it's going to go away for a while. Now Burst can do some real big damage. The one wing staying out for a little bit longer, but the back air is so strong. Still, the Burst able to live. Oh, and narrowly avoid the blade beam off the stage by actually let you, uh, letting go of the side beam early enough to low, basically low profile it oh, to the ledge. So smart from Burst, and now we're getting a lot of re grabs, but unfortunately, try you saw the, the charge up of the auto slash there, and it was just a little, a little too slow for that F tilt coming in from Leviathan. Okay, spacing the F tilt on the shield, but still uh, Leviathan abusing Cloud's burst range with the down tilt, but again, the, the forward air, such good poking, you know, really good spacing. Well, and now he's back to princess mode, uh, gonna keep him away. 
Oh, big swords going, big swords, but mine's a little bit bigger. We're gonna be sending Leviathan back over to the other side of the stage, and Leviathan going for the cross of the cross up, and actually going for the back air instead. I love to see it. The up he gets utilized, it gets burnt a little bit just to get back to the ledge, and now we have limit on on uh, on deck. We. Waste on the blade beam, interestingly enough, but it does send burst uh, to a far off angle. And the counter, I see the vision. I really did. Did not work out in his favor, unfortunately. I was really surprised until it missed right there, but either way, burst. They're going to keep carrying on. Leviathan nearly using that stop, but still managed to stay alive. Oh, great, great pressure. You saw the. Do you see the dash back? The spacing? Chef's kiss. I'm telling you, bro. I'm starting to cook up something for real. Like Gustavo said in Ratatouille, anybody can cook. And at the moment, Burst is proving it right now. Alfredo doing something a little bit different with this source at the moment. Another few more pokes again forward airs, the back airs. The up throw as well, not getting too much of a conversion, but still keeping the pressure on Leviathan now. The percent back, obviously, uh, in Burst's favor right now. Yeah, he's kind of just locked into this matchup, although we do have a uh, limit ready to be utilized and thankfully is not going to get burned on an up B. So you have the, the setup ready, but the blade beam instead is going to be used once more instead of maybe a limit cross slash or a more formidable option, but it's A-OK. -okay. Leviathan is still in this game. Ooh, ooh, give me the up air. No, we do not get the up air, unfortunately. Trying to get the back air as well, but the snap of the fingers can be sending Leviathan away from our little princess. Oh, big trade. Humongous trade, even. Well, of course, Masamune. Just that little bit longer sword that, uh, than the sword the Cloud has. Uh, it's going to take that first stock before, but now the Viper brought, about that, uh, brought it back, let's say, sorry, to dead even. The U within this game five, but it's only game three. It's not even, this is not even match point. Come on now, we're going to be seeing a lot of pressure here with that limit being uh, on deck. We, I might be using the limit, but the him again, and there it is on shield. Not going to be able to follow through, maybe for a shield break, but no, absolutely not. Leviathan struggling to get any usage of this limit besides just as a threat, as a space threat. There's oh, nice to working this time. Okay, no one wing out. So like I said before, we are back to princess mode. Gonna see if uh, Leviathan can find a way through this uh, wall of a fortress that, you know, Burst has been throughout so far. Alright, this could be a really good edge guard here, and oh, it is, baby girl. Oh, it is. And that back is slicing uh, cloud Ooh. path. Definitely a dream for Sephiroth. I wish he could do that in real life. Just can't find it in the moment. But, you know, Burst looking so strong this set so far, man. He's turned the game and the set on its head. Oh, absolutely. Although uh, it was Leviathan in the lead for a second there. Game two, game three. We are cooking with the Sephiroth. Are we going to be seeing a, maybe a kit to swap back to the Zero Samus? And we absolutely are. Uh, ooh, excuse me. We're going to be seeing a swap back over to the ZSS, which is, uh, you know, has gone a little more toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Sephiroth, has actually won a game versus the Sephiroth. So maybe a reverse situation will be happening for Leviathan with a swap back to Miss ZSS. I mean, it's the classic thing. When you play so many characters, you, sometimes you might get in your own head of, like, damn, who should I play? I could have won with that character. I could have won if I stayed them. It does kind of play in the back of your mind. But of course, you know, Leviathan knows better than we do. So obviously, they have to figure out if they want to go back to the um, ZSS. And they've chosen to do so. Will it be a factor? Or will the princess mode be too much uh, for the queen that is the SS? Oof, going in for the side really early on, but it's A-OK. -okay. We're going to be also, I'm sorry, it'll be early, early, early on, but still really even here. We're going to be on dashing, uh, dash attack on shield, and Leviathan is kind of playing a little more safe, waiting for these punishes that Ooh. ZSS is so good at catching, such as when you tech roll in or anything like that, or just when you're kind of lacking in that regard. But Burst is... Okay. Oh, oh! Nice timing on that, uh, on that get up in order to not get stunned out either. Oh, we are okay. We're playing on a little bit too long. Let's uh, get why off. Why not? I got one wing out. Not really much you can do to kind of challenge that big up hitbox that is Octo Slash. Uh, and again, the back is coming out more and more now. Big swing. Definitely not missing this time either way. And Leviathan can't really get any safe pressure until now. There's there. Even if he rolls in, still Leviathan can't catch it this time. Very different from the first game. Oh, I, this sword is so good at kind of making the space really safe for you in order to recover back to, uh, back to stage safely. But unfortunately, I think Burst was just standing there for a little bit too long, and Leviathan realized you don't have any moves that are fast enough to negate my approach as I short hop into you. So, sure. really, really smart stuff coming in from Leviathan into this game four. There, okay. Doing it two times in a row, but still not getting too much of a big punish off it. Uh, there is Burst with the Mega Flare as well. No kill, though. Trying to do anything in the arsenal to get rid of this first stock, but Light doing it. Uh, Light, sorry? Leviathan doing a good job of survivability until now I jinxed it uh, back to even. 
That's even, but only for a smaller extent. The wing is going to come out for a while now as uh, Burst is not too far in the behind Leviathan. So Leviathan has a little bit of time to really work his magic, and we are seeing that right now. Sending Burst off stage again, trying to get that, string, uh, that stun rate from pretty much across the stage as well. We're going to be sending Burst back off into a ledge, trying to get that uh, Shadow Flare. And great tech, great reversals positioning, and great, oh wait, great, wait, God, we won off of attack on the stage. We're so crazy. Reversals just like that out of nowhere. Yo, this is an actual dream. To kill two Blondies in one session with Sephiroth? Man is living right now with the up as well. Leviathan in deep hot water right now, but they need to do something quickly. Oh, absolutely. I mean, at some point, you just realize you just lost your stock off of a interaction that you should not have lost in the first place, or at least you didn't think you would lose. Now the Vibe is in the hot seat. Can he make or break it? Is he gonna be this last is this gonna be his last game? And as the time goes on, as the timer ticks down, it's starting to look look like that slowly but surely. The auto slash onto onto the ledge gonna be protecting the, this area for a while now and also gonna be negated pretty much off of just the first part of that of that up B. So Still definitely do it for Leviathan to bring to a game 5, but at this point it's looking like Burst has really gotten into the swing of things very nicely. Okay, he sneaks in the back here, the weak hit, there's the up smash, not the, the middle part, the sword, the strongest part to kick that stock either way, but you know, some still good stage control, some damage as well. This looks all but Burst game to lose. Surely they can't fumble, right? Right, Mark? Right? <laughs> right? You'd have to hope so, but Le right? uh, Leviathan trying to put us wrong, trying to make sure they can do it. They've still got a foot in the door, man, they can do something unless Burst really pushes ahead. Come on, it really is anything in his game plan, but the dash attack on shield not really going to be the right move here. You see, Leviathan is still trying to fight it out, and that could be your punish, but waited, it didn't believe enough on the punish opportunity, and we are... Okay. <gasps> <laughs> Listen, we have PTSD. There we go, baby girl. I lied! We're back! Leviathan is not dying quite yet. He lied to me. Even with that heavy back air space on the shield, and if it's not the back air, it's the F tilt, the sword is always swinging horizontally. Um, we're still gonna get these Ws though. We're gonna keep on going up and burst, man. Uh, really powered through. After that first game, the next three games were crazy. They really adapted oh, yeah. well to what kind of Levi uh, Leviathan was kind of putting out, uh, understanding where the space they want to be in terms of like the advantage state wise, and the push on ahead. 3 1 to, to burst. So. Yeah, he, he he didn't start winning either. You know that first game was not Burst's game to win. It was uh, it was Leviathan. So again, like you said, great perseverance, great turnaround, great adaptation. Not only with just the ZSS, but also the Cloud, which you're crazy. Like you you got it with Sephiroth of all characters as well. I mean, this does mean that um, Leviathan is knocked out of bracket. That was loser's side, of course. But you know, Cinco no Cinco Alfredo. You have to see again, Miyamoid. You see again. You got it. You're going throughout the bracket. All good. It was a side. But we're not done quite yet. We got Mr. Numbers. Mr. John Numbers.